It's Get It Off Your Chest. Jeremy, explain to our listeners, if you can remember, what is Get It Off Your Chest all about? If I can remember? Yeah, because, you know, you haven't been here for ages. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, really? Okay. Uh, Get It Off Your Chest is, um, it's basically where we open the phone lines to you to talk to us about anything that's on your mind. Now, if there's something on Adrian's mind he can talk about, if there's something on my mind, which invariably there is, I can talk about it. And if there's something on your mind, you can talk about it. That's it. Now, I, I have something to, to start it off. Please do, And yes. I don't get it off your chest is normally a bit of crack and a bit of fun, but it's a bit more serious. Oh, yeah, go on. So we can get serious music. Serious music, okay. Um, uh, I know that music will do. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, so get it off your chest music. I was in court recently. Yeah? Um, and I don't know if you've ever been in court. I, of course I, you have, yeah. I, 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 I have, from, from, you know, from time to time, as front, an observer. Front page of the Herald what? was. What? No, page three. Uh, yeah, go on. How come you only made it onto page three? I know, I'm very disappointed. But continue anyway. Your court appearance made it to page three. It did, yeah. And what was on page one that day? Uh, some mass murder or something like that. Or man finds photograph of Jesus in his cornflakes. Yes, yeah, that was on the front page, yeah. okay. Anyway, continue. Yeah, I understand. Anyway, uh, those of you who've been in court will, un- will know that it's, a, it's, it's an eventful day, isn't it? It can be. Anyway, I was in court uh, recently, very recently. And the one thing I noticed that really, really pissed me off is scrotes in court. Right. Not, not having the decency to turn up dressed appropriately for court. And I believe... No, I agree with you 100%. I believe yeah. that a judge should not even see a case where somebody is not wearing, uh, wearing a suit. Now, as I said, I was in court and I arrived in a suit and a tie, the whole lot. They shined me shoes, the whole lot. Did and you? I, you actually did that? Of course I did. I always do. Not that I'm in court every day, but any time I have been in court... Yeah. Um, ...for minor infractions... Minor I did, infraction. This was so minor that the judge even laughed when. Oh, did he? Uh, yeah. All right, okay, yeah. Yeah, she was. She was. She said it was that minor. Yeah. That she she laughed. Anyway, continue. Anyway, I had the decency to put on a, a shirt and tie and a suit for going to court. Yeah. Um, but um, I, my case was the last to be called. It was one of the last to be called. Right. Which I don't know how because it's alphabetical order in your name, isn't it? Yeah. Jeremy. D- d- no, it isn't. It couldn't be alphabetical order. What? It couldn't be. Now, when you were in school, when you were a whippersnapper... Yeah. What? Like, were you at the start we're, of the we're, class? We're talking about court. Okay, anyway, there you are in court, yeah? Yeah. But I was called fairly towards the end. Yeah. I got to see a lot of what was going on. Um, and the amount of scumbags uh, that were up in court and that were just wearing tracksuits and hoodies and stuff like that... Mm. No, I'm sorry, if I, if I was a judge, or if I were a judge... But you're not. I would not, I would not hear a court case with a scumbag... Who's who didn't bother his arse to yeah. to even like absolute? There were these two particular scrotes. Oh, Jesus, I hope they did. They didn't recognise me because they know <laughs> I'm talking about them. But there were these particular two scrotes that were up before me uh, for driving with no insurance right. in the court, um, and they were both wearing hoodies, had their feet up on the seat like this. Look, that's a starly yeah. judge. Starly judge, starly judge. I want free legal aid. We haven't got money to pay for any... So us, the taxpayer, ends up having to pay for for basically solicitors who are going to get these little scumbags off um, with yeah. their, their convictions. But I believe that people should not be let into court unless they're wearing a suit. Do you agree? Uh, I can't Do say... Do you agree? No, I can't say if they're Do only... Do you agree? <laughs> not if they're only wearing a suit. Case closed. Look, I'm smart today, but I'm not wearing a suit. Yeah? Yeah. I'm wearing slacks and a shirt. Okay, if you've ever been... I'm sure some of our listeners, probably all of them actually have been in court before. Maybe <laughs> uh, maybe <laughs> many of them have, I'd yeah. many of them have. Yeah. If you've ever been in court before and you, you had the audacity... Audacity, the yeah. The audacity to turn up in court without a suit or as much as a shirt and uh, a tie on. Give me a call because I want to... Re- now, somebody says, somebody no, says, somebody t- says... No, I agree no, with what no. you're saying, but people can't afford suits. Sorry, no, name me on the text. Yeah, but my, my point text. being... I don't agree with you about the suit thing because some people can't afford suits. Who yeah? can't afford a suit? But everybody can afford uh, a 10 euro shirt and a 10 euro pair of slacks out of Duns. Yeah, I'm everybody sorry. Can. I'm sorry, if you're scum, you don't deserve to be seen before a judge. Yeah. Anyway, if you are somebody who has been up in court and, did, and had the audacity... Audacity is the word. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, I know. The audacity. It sounds better the than the cheek. Audacity. No, the cheek. The gumption. <laughs> the cheek. <laughs> if you had the cheek... To turn up in court um, w- without a, a shirt and tie on. No, it doesn't have to be a, a three-piece suit. Though. No. Just dressing smart. Like I was wearing my Savile Row. You tosser. It's a very expensive suit. But, but I, got a, I got it off, so it worked. Go on. Um, I, I want to hear from you. Um, or if you believe, also believe, 
that anybody who goes up to court in a tracksuit should be just uh, thrown out of court and not seen. Mm. Like, it just shows a complete disrespect, doesn't it? I agree with you 100%. 100% I like, agree with you. Like, scrote after scrote. But, uh, and, and like but like that part, it's nothing to do with George, suits. George! I'm an innocent man, George! That's what he said. No, that's what I said. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, right, okay, that's what you said, yeah. Mr. Dixon, that's a, that outburst will not be allowed. That's what she said. Yeah. Um, yeah, give us a call, 67971104. If you've ever been to court, uh, do you present yourself well or do you just wear whatever you woke up in? And you, you often notice when you, you, when you open, like open the Herald tonight, and I'm sure there's a paper of some scumbag standing outside the court and he's wearing a tracksuit or a Liverpool jersey. It's always a Liverpool jersey, <laughs> yeah, Why it? is that? Always a Liverpool jersey. Yeah, I don't really get that. Yeah, scum support Liverpool. Go on, anyway. Isn't it, though? Yeah. You know when you see a, a story in the Herald tonight, like um, Adrian Kennedy of Blanchardstown, uh, done for, I don't know, for arson. Hmm. Have you ever done for arson? No. No, I wasn't. I've, I've never been into that at all. Really? No, no, no. No, I'm not into it at all. It's just not my thing. Yeah, I never got why people are into arson. No, no, I'm not into but it. What, what, what thrill do you get out of arson? Don't know. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make, anytime you see some scumbag... Hey, Stephanie! Yeah? Now, Stephanie, you're you're basically saying that this is all to do with people not being able to afford suits. They can't afford suits, and sometimes, Adrian, you do get arrested. Like, I was in court in my pyjamas. Guilty. Guilty. <laughs> what were you doing in court in your pyjamas? Yeah, how would that happen? Because if you get arrested in whatever clothes you're wearing, then you might just be brought to court the next day. Now, what were you arrested for? Ah, uh, just a little small thing. So nah, yeah, here, here, Stephanie. <laughs> Stephanie, I'll just say one thing to you. Yeah. I'm judge and jury here. This pisses no, me off. No, no what was the... You no, don't get arrested for small things. What was the little small thing, Stephanie? I'm yeah, curious. You know, like, if I'm drinking in public or small things like that, you can get arrested for small things. You don't get arrested for... Hang on, you well, don't you get... you can't get arrested for drinking in public. You, no one has ever got arrested for just drinking in public. What would you do? If I was drinking out of the park in my pyjamas in public, then I'd be arrested. Well, you deserve to be for crimes against fashion. <laughs> but what if they were nice pyjamas, Adrian? Nice pyjamas are for your bed. I know, but they're not comfortable. No, you should be sleeping naked in the bed in this lovely weather we're having. <laughs> Isn't that right, Stephanie? That's right. Anyway, you were you were up um you were up in court. In your pyjamas. In your pyjamas. And do you honestly think that the judge was gonna take you seriously? Like you're standing on the dock in your pyjamas and the judge calls you, Stephanie, guilty or not guilty? What did you say? I'm guilty, Your Honour. Your Honour! That's what, what she said. Um, <laughs> That's exactly what she said. What I heard you, her. I know. And what did Your Honour say back to you? Uh, ten months, there you go. You got a sentence. I got a sentence and everything for a little small thing. Well, little small things. You don't get ten things. months hang for on, small things. Here, Steph, Steph. Oh, I'm getting Steph. frustrated, Adrian. Shut up for a second, you. <laughs> Steph, now come on, yeah. t- tell the truth. You were in the park, you were drinking beer, and then what? I got a bit. I got a bit aggressive as uh, you usually do. Ah, uh, you got a bit snotty with the guard. And I got dragged into the back. Did of you the hit the guard to dig? No, I did not. Or what did you say to the guard? He just gets smart at those little small things. Dutch courage when I'm drinking. Yeah. And then next of all, all I remember as being in the cell and in court in my pajamas. And everyone laughing and giggling away at you. Well, they would. Well, now, in fairness, <laughs> yeah. come on now. So, uh, uh, it was embarrassing and, what, life, and what, what were you charged with? Oh, bleeding drunk and disorder. Bre- breach of the peace? And breach of the peace, yep. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's the worst thing you can ever do. I tell but you. come here, this, well, this brings us back to... Uh, what Sorry, are... did she do 10 months? Did you do 10 months or not? Yeah. You didn't serve 10 months, did you? Not good for that, for a build up a little bit. Oh, thing. Jesus, here we go. <laughs> here, shut up, you. Um, right, and how long did you spend in prison? I was in prison now, Jesus. It was when I was younger. Oh, it was when you were younger? Yeah. And have you, cha- I'm have you changed? Have you changed? Because like... you sound like you're a reformed character, doesn't you? She does, yeah. Lovely girl. <laughs> Thanks. Have you, have you got your act together now? I have indeed. But another thing you'd want to complain about, Jeremy and Adrian. Yeah. I know the landlords these days. Well, it's a load of a joke, I'm telling you. Why? Well, what's your. Now, don't mention your landlord, yeah? I'm not, I won't say his name. Well, your landlord used to be uh, the government because you were locked up in Mount Joy. <laughs> 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 no, I tell you, I was straight. Like, see, in my house, I'd have landlords to be nosing around, to be looking at the the door, trying to listen in on conversations. They're just very nosy, they are. 
And they just want to keep them always out of people's business. And uh, and t- and tell me this. By the way, do you ring in the show other times calling yourself Samantha? No, I rang in before ages ago, around three years ago, about the Romanian gypsies, remember? Oh, why have you, uh, why have you a problem with them as well? Did it be outside now? I'm telling you, I'm a At nerd. least they don't wear pyjamas when they're outside. <laughs> well, they don't, Adrian, do they? <laughs> I have to say though, Stephanie, I don't know if you agree with me. What do you think of the fashion sense of the Roma gypsies? I don't like their fashion. Oh, it's bleeding terrible. They've no, it? they've no fashion sense, Adrian. They wear, None. They wear skirts. They wear skirts with Nike Air Max. <laughs> How's that fashionable? I have no idea. I have no idea. Um, what do you wear now? If you were going to church, Adrian, what would you be wearing? Adrian, well, I Adrian. certainly wouldn't be going in my pajamas. And Adrian, Adrian doesn't go to church. I was there once. I was. I was. It was on the twenty third of October. No, I was at church last week, but it was for a funeral. Yeah, 1964 the last time you uh, were Not far off it, no, not far off it. <laughs> anyway, Stephanie, um, you're not in trouble with the guards anymore and you've, you've changed I'm your I'm not settling down, I'm a changed woman. And I'm do you still wear your pajamas? P- is that what they are? No, I'm a changed woman now. Completely changed? I don't wear anything. Nothing? Oh, you, <laughs> are you starkers? No, I'm not going into the nudist, you know? Well, that's your thing now, is it? That's my thing now. Jesus. I'm going to tell you, you, you get arrested for that as well, Stephanie. Thanks. Oh, I know. Thanks, Adrian. Bye. Thanks, Jeremy. Bye, bye, See you bye, later. Bye, 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 bye. bye, bye. There you go. There, there you there's go. A, there's a lady. You know what? It's not often on this show. No, she is a complete It's lady. not often on this show. Yeah. It's, it's a rarity that we talk to a, a lady. Yep. She's that, a complete that was, lady. That was royalty we just had on it the was, show. It was. Let's just pause for a moment. Yeah, no, she was. She was radio royalty. Shh. This is for you, Steph. Here, have we got a... Uh, He's on. still there, Steph. Oh, no, she's gone. Here, can, can, give me royalty music. Well, royalty music? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. What's royalty music? Ah, uh, this would be, wouldn't it? Oh, no, jeez, you're not Aye. playing... You're yeah. not playing that. That's... that's. Ah, that's all right. What do you mean it's all right? Is that not... Uh, yeah, that's royalty ah. music. Ah, this is, this is uh, for you, Stephanie. What's... Th- no, 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 yeah, no. I, you... I, think we're, I think we're good with this. You I can't play this on the radio. I think, I think we're good, I think. No, 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 no! You're not That's playing. Royalty. You're not playing that on the radio. Why? I'm sorry. I'm just. I'm not having land of hope and glory on the FM 104 phone show. Why? What's that about? Uh, it's all about the British Empire. The, the British Empire and no, all it's that. Not about it that. is. It is. No, 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 no! I'm is not that? having it. I'm not That's having not it. That's not about the British. If you want that sort of thing, head up the north. They love it up there. I've just been up there. Well, actually. go back up there. They love it up there. Not all of them. Ah, some of them do, though. There are people of a certain persuasion who love that gear. By the way, why, I mean, we'll come to this another night. What's the story with Northern Unionists? <laughs> let's Honestly. not, let's not. No, but what's the story with them? Please. The last I, time, I, I was up north the recently. The last time you were up north, we had this exact... It's like deja vu. No, I wasn't giving out about that the last time. What were you giving out about? I was giving out about the measures and the shots. Oh, yeah, they're tiny. Pub. Yeah, they're ridiculous. How can you get drunk up no, north? No, you can't. You can't. That's why there was so much trouble during the... Well, they were pissed off they couldn't get drunk. <laughs> yeah, that was it. <laughs> You know, 30 years of troubles up north, yeah? Yeah, yeah. That was all started because someone went into a pub and asked for a shot of vodka and he was given a half shot. Have you ever and seen he opened the place. Have you ever seen the no, size of the they're ridiculous. Shots? No, I, I wouldn't drink spirits in the north or in England. Anyway, what is the story with Northern Unionists? What's your question? They love the Queen. <laughs> <laughs> Don't they, though? But that's their deal. That's th- that's their thing. No, but I was I was, uh, I was up north recently, yeah? Yeah. Very recently, actually. Very recently, Hours yeah. ago, in fact. <laughs> um... And um, I was looking at the, the, the behaviour of some of the, the Northern Unionists yeah. on the Sandy Road and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What, you drove down the Sandy Road? I did drive down the Sandy Road. Of course I did. Fair play. Yeah. Yes, so, and? And then, um, you know, they're draped in Union Jacks and they're they're waving flags at the Queen and all that. And they're wearing, like, Queen boxer shorts. Yeah. Not Freddie Mercury. No, ones, I didn't think the, so, no. The actual Queen. Yeah. Ones. And I was saying that to an English friend of mine and he says... Oh, geezer, we don't even love the Queen as much as the Naughty Unionist, do you? Well, Australian, was he? Oh, he's from Birmingham. Jeez, that's the worst. Well, that was definitely the worst Birmingham accent ever. The point ever. I'm trying to make is Northern Unionists yeah. are more English than the English themselves. Oh, no, it's true, yeah. An English man would not wave a Union Jack around himself, Well, he? he would, but... Well, he wouldn't really. Man, they, some of the English lads go off in Union Jack shorts on their holidays. But Northern Unionists, yeah? And yeah. I don't want to get political yeah, on the show. Yeah, but you are. Because I've studied um, Northern Irish uh, history and politics. Uh, and, and what have you that. learned? That originally the unionists that are up north are all from Scotland. Yeah. They're all Scottish. Yeah. 
So why don't they say, I can you believe I'm leaving in Belfast? <laughs> why have they all got Ardy Bar Ardy Bar Ardy Bar accent? I don't know. How did that happen? <laughs> It's just, it's a, it's and a. Did you know they were called the plantations? Oh, you're do. Yes, I know all about no, me. You don't, I, you don't know what plantations are. I do. No, you don't. I do. So that's how the, all the Protestants arrived in the north. You, what's the plantation? They were, it was when they, the, the Brits shoved them all I'm over gonna, here. I'm going to ask the next caller now a question about Northern Ireland politics, and let's see how we go on. Okay. Okay. Well, um, uh, Stephen. Go ahead, yeah. Stephen. Go can you ahead, tell me, Stephen. Can you tell me about the implementation of the Belfast Agreement, please? Thank you. No. No. Oh, okay. Can you tell me about the first Home Rule Bill? No. Oh, no. Um, now, Stephen, can you, can, you te- can you tell me about going to court in a tracksuit? Yeah, I can. Yeah, yeah, I thought, I thought so, yeah. No now, wrong with that. Why do you go to court in a tracksuit? Why didn't you put on a shirt? Because, like, I mean, someone's there, like, boy, like, what's the point of not guilty, you know what I mean? I mean, someone's boy to court the law for none. You sound guilty, though, Stephen, I have to say, doesn't you? <laughs> How do you sound guilty? Yeah, you can sound guilty. <laughs> Well, how many? Well, I'm up again now in three weeks' time, and I'll be going. Oh, don't track. talk about that case now. We don't have a prejudice. I won't mention the case, but I'm up in three weeks' time, and I will be going in a tracksuit. You'll yeah. be going in a tracksuit. Yeah, and I'll be having me free legal aid solicitor that was standing beside me as well. Paid for by my taxes. Yeah, too right. Ah, oh, Jesus, Adrian, I can't, can't handle this. <laughs> yeah, I can't either. Um, and how, how are you getting? Now, now why would now, you how's not? He, how's he getting free legal aid? I'm it cost me 500 quid to pay for a gammy solicitor to appear in court with me. Oh, did we? 500 quid? Jeez, you were stroke there. We had a fairly decent solicitor. Well, look, the fella I had was a Muppet. <laughs> oh, I hope he's not <laughs> listening, actually. That's, 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 that's because you paid for him. So you get free legal aid? Oh, yeah. You don't I had to get me suit dry clean for the court appearance. That cost me 40, 40 blips. Really? Yeah, just like a tracksuit and a pair of runners, And you're wearing a tracksuit and a pair of runners? Yeah. And what's the conviction that you're, that you're not guilty of? Well, possession. Possession of what? A controlled drug. And um, how, how are you not guilty? Is the guy not finding it in your pocket? <laughs> no, because he had no lab report. Because what? He had no lab report. He had no lab, lab report, right. But you did have something in your pocket. Come on. Yeah, well, I did, but like, there's no proof. I was saying what it was. Here, here's Stephen. I didn't want to guilty and all, like. Stephen, a friend of mine was, was, was done and convicted, yeah, for having a dangerous dog without a lead, yeah? Yeah. But it didn't stand up in court because they had no lab report. <laughs> Oh, Here, Stephen, you, you can use that joke in front of the judge next week. Oh, I don't think that would work. No, well, I don't what think do you, it what would do you, What do you think uh, your chances of getting off are? Ah, oh, well, I'm trying in the lab report, so we're a bit of luck at grabbing this one, too. Free legal aid. And how much would that cost you if you had to pay for the solicitor? A couple of hundred quid, I suppose. Yeah, five, five hundred. The second time up, so like, you would have charged me the first and now the second as well. And um, why, why were you possessing the drugs, allegedly? Or you weren't, was he, Adrian? What was he doing? Uh, I have no idea. You was? Because I was taking them. Oh, you were holding them for a friend, were you? Yeah. That's what I used to say when my ma used to catch me with porn, Stephen, when I was younger. Yeah, well, you have to say that, you know? You know your mother would walk into your bedroom and she'd see, like, porn all over your bed. I minded them for Adrian! I said that before. <laughs> I minded them for Adrian. That's there. what you did say, yeah. Anyway, so you're not going to bother your arse even putting a shirt on to go to court, Stephen? No, I won't, no. Why, though? Why don't you want us to show respect to the judiciary? Why? Because when I was in the cell, I got punched around. So why the fuck would I want to throw a suit on to stand there in front of the cop? I'm like, no way. Uh, you're claiming now you got be- beaten up in the cell. I, no, we got beaten up. It's black and blue leaving the cell. Yeah, but you obviously gave the guards cheek. Well, no, well, he was giving me cheek. He was like my man. So it's going to like his man. <laughs> <laughs> you asked for this now. I'm just saying. Yeah, I know, I did. I'm <laughs> kind of keeping out of this. Yeah, I know. And come here, if you, can, if you can't afford, you can't afford a suit, can you not? I can't afford have a suit in the gas, but what's the point? Oh, you can afford one? Of course I can, it's on the door. But do you not just think you're... Oh, of course he can afford it, he's on the door. Jesus. <laughs> you, no, seriously. But why don't you want to show respect to, to the court system? Do you not respect the courts? Because there's no justice in this country, so now I don't... Well, no, if you get off, there's no bloody justice in the country. There's no justice for... With your free legal aid and your tracksuit and laughing at the judge, you will be. Ah, well, like, what you want me to do? Like, that's no point, you know? You should be in a cage, man, in a cage! <laughs> yeah, hold on, how can you tell me? The man's not guilty of anything because the guard screwed it up, basically. For a speeding fine, right? For a speeding fine. I got 330 euro fine. I was unemployed. Someone that was employed got 120 euro fine. Here, hang on, hang on. If you got a, hang on, if you got a 330... Right, Here, hang on. If you got a 330 euro fine for speeding, yeah? <laughs> yeah. You obviously, you obviously didn't pay it when it came in the post. No, but neither did Why didn't you pay it when it came in the post? Why didn't you pay it when it came in the post? 
Because I didn't. There's only seven kilometres over the speed limit, so I wasn't paying. What, when it comes in the... Oh, you pay the fine. Well, I don't. I don't pay fines. You don't pay fines. Whatever. Yeah, but the next... Well, does the not, does, hang on for one second. Does the, does the law not apply to you, oh, no? Would you get involved now, Kennedy? No, Brady? seriously, because I... Pay. Me, only in special cases. Only in certain cases. Yeah. So you're after getting free legal aid. You're going to stick your fingers up at the judge. You're wearing... What sort of tracksuit are you wearing, by the way? Uh, we're in Nike tracksuit. Oh, Nike tracksuit, lovely. And a Liverpool jersey underneath it? No, Man U. Man U, Adrian. Yeah, a pair of Air Max. And what page of the Herald will we see in that day? Front page. <laughs> Front page. Oh. Yeah. Thanks, Stephen. Thanks, Stephen. No, <laughs> bye, 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 bye. Oh. You did ask now, I'm just saying. Just bear me for one second. I'm about to inflict pain on myself. Jesus! Stop heading button! He's head button oh. the desk. Jesus, you'll, you'll do yourself that an injury. Is mo- that is... Are you not annoyed by that? Yeah, of course I am, yeah. 500 blips I paid for a solicitor. You were stroked there, seriously. Really? Yeah, you were. Was I? You were. Well, I got it off. Oh, well then. Technicalities, Adrian. It's all about technicalities. <laughs> it is. Um, yeah, but that's how, unfortunately, that's how he's going to get off with possession because yeah, but at least, on the technicality. Here, by the way, I wasn't possessing anything. Well, yeah, but it, well. He, he's getting off of possession because they don't have, um, they didn't do lab no, reports. No, but the point I'm trying to make is. Yeah. He's laughing at the judge. Yeah. He's like, oh, I know, you swing on a track to in court. Would you just go to Nisha there, right? Nisha, how are you? Hiya. How are oh, you, Nisha? Now, Nisha, you actually did um, you did work experience in court, did you? Yes. Go on, what did you want to say? I think it's a disgrace when they wear the track suit. Now, you heard that, you heard that, you lovely, young, upstanding member of the community. And the first girl, Stephanie. Yeah, Lovely yeah. lady, arrested in her pyjamas, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what? I can, I can just picture it now. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> I mean, okay, it's, 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 Stephanie, if you're still listening, it's bad enough going to uh, the park and drinking. It's even worse going to the park drinking in your pyjamas. Um, and what did, what did you notice when you were in court? Um, well, if they can't afford, like, tracksuits that even fit them, like... <laughs> what, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, they were wearing tracksuits that didn't even fit them? Like, it was between his, like, knee and his ankle. Between his knee and his like three quarter length tracksuit. Yeah, and then he had the socks going up to them, and then the big. Oh, I can see it. I can see and, it. And what I charges? What charges was he up on? Um, it was he was under a lot. Like he had a bad record, and it was like something to do with pushing a kid in a buggy in a road and Jesus. all this. And uh, he obviously had free legal aid as well. Oh, probably. You see, I think free legal aid should be banned. Yeah. Ban it completely. You Why? Agree with well, what about people who don't have money? Tough. Don't commit a crime mm. if you don't have money. Yeah, but some people uh, get arrested and no, haven't committed... Commit, they're, they're, they're not all guilty. They're all guilty in my eyes. No, they're not. Would That's... you agree, Nisha? No more free legal aid. No more free legal aid. Why should our taxes have to pay... You, you, you wouldn't say that if you lost your job now. What? You wouldn't say that if you lost your job. Well, I wouldn't commit a crime then. What were you in court for last week then? Innocent agent. Yeah, there you go. Innocent. But you needed a, a solicitor to represent you. Yep. No, I, I'm sorry about that. I think some people rip the piss out of the free legal aid system, but uh, I think people are entitled to it. And um, come here, when you were working, don't tell me what court you were working in, Nisha, yeah? Um, but were you, were you working with judges and stuff like that? No, I was in with the guards and just having an outlook of how the court works and all. I mean, that's so cool, isn't that it? That must have been a great work experience. Oh, it's class. Yeah, that, that sounds good, all right. Um, well, the reason I was asking, I did work experience as well uh, in a court yeah, years was, ago. Yeah. And I ended up working with this uh, very famous judge. Have you ever heard of this fella? He, um, he's basically he's the only judge in Ireland that has no penis. Really? Yeah, Justice Balls. Justice Balls? <laughs> that was his name, Justice Balls. <laughs> did you ever hear of him, Nisha? No, no. <laughs> that was the man's name. Justice Balls. So the, the solicitor would stand up and he'd say, Justice Balls. Justice Balls. That's what he said. Nisha, ask me, ask me how he lost his penis. <laughs> Does anybody need to know? No, it, was, it does. It's irrelevant. But how did he lose his penis, I, Jeremy? How would I know how he lost his penis? But you, you seem to know. Anyway, justice balls. Thanks, Nisha. No matter. Bye, 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 bye. bye, bye, bye. Um, Actually, I'm going to write the next time I'm in court. I'm going to tell the judge that joke. Now, um, I'm in court tomorrow morning for not producing my driving license, and I'll wear chinos and a nice polo T-shirt. Is that okay? Yes, and here's another here's another trick. That's okay, isn't it? Polo. He's wearing a, um, a pair of chinos and a nice polo t-shirt. I know, but make sure that the, the polo t-shirt is tucked into the chinos. 
No, but here's another trick. Here's I don't trick. think judges are big into fashion. They are, I swear to God. No, I don't think so. When I wore my Savile Row suit in court, yeah, the judge actually commented on it. You don't think you have a Savile You must have borrowed it. Is that what you were in court for? Nick in a Savile Row suit? No, the judge looked at him and said, Mr. Dixon. Yeah. You're very eloquently dressed. He didn't say today. that to you. He didn't. He actually did. Okay, anyway, here, I have, here's some free legal advice. Yeah, go on. If anybody, if you're ever up in court, ever, ever, ever up in court, Adrian? Yep. Because it's only a matter of time for that happens. Oh, no, again, I haven't been so. in court for years. Really? Donkeys, That's yeah. What I'm saying. Well, gonna... you've been in mo- more recently than me, twice actually. In the last year that I can count, you've been in court, I haven't. I haven't been in court for five years. Oh, sorry, Anne, by the way. Uh, Anne's upset at my vulgarity. Sorry. About that. Um, sorry. Anyway, anyway, I've been in court for five or six years, so. Here's my advice when yep. you do end up in court again, because it's, 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 it's not going to happen. Yeah, go on. And this is my advice for all of you if you're ever going to end up in court wear glasses. Wear glasses. People seemingly, according to a survey I just made up, <laughs> people with glasses are five times more likely to get off. Glasses. Glasses. Spectacles. Sharon. Wah. How? Wah. <laughs> how are you, Sharon? Jeez, Sharon. How are you? Wah. How are, are you, you Sharon? Uh, no, ask, uh, no. Here's how you have to so say. Funny. Hang on, Sharon. We'll come back to you in a sec. Hang on. Yeah. No. Hang, hang on, on, on for a sec. Just a second. Say, are you all right, Sharon? Okay. Hang on. Right. And Joe. Sh- Sharon. Yes. Are you all right, Sharon? I'm glad I missed the Borges. Ah, there you are. Well done, yeah. Georgie Borges. Here, Sharon, can I ask you a question? Yes. How drunk would you have to have been to have sex with Georgie Borges? You'd want to be locked out of your brain. Oh, Jesus. Yes. The he was heck a, of him. He was an awful looking yoke. That he, fellow was. Yeah, he was. I wouldn't know anything about it, no. And didn't she lamp him over the bonnet of a car or something like uh, that? He lamped her. Oh, or he, he lamped her. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Anyway, Sharon, um, what were you about to say? I wasn't saying that, and I just sent a text in. Oh yeah, you did. Oh, this is about this is about mad and reading the glasses. <laughs> this is, these are about scangers in court, are they? Yeah. <laughs> and what what are they going to be wearing tomorrow? All the scangers. What well, are the track suits and their Nike Air Max and their glasses? <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> There's about 50 scangers listening to the show going down to going down to their local shop now to buy a pair of uh, spectacles now. Oh, even the 3D ones to take out the glass. Oh, you actually could. <laughs> Really? Kids do, yeah. Yeah, you know the 3D glass you get. Adrian, you follow me. I'm fully with you, yeah. Well, what, what, what we were talking about this only the other night. What, 3D glasses? Yeah. About how. Was it you I was talking to about this, Sharon? No, I must have turned off. Yeah, about how. Uh, See, she turned off because I wasn't here. No, it was last Thursday, actually. You know, remember yeah. when you were off again? Yeah. Remember? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we were talking about how it's cool right now. To wear fake glasses. Oh, that's right. You know, yeah, you heard that, yeah? Because yeah, um, we actually yeah. have good shows when you're not here as well, despite what yeah. you think, Jeremy. Yeah. Um, and we were talking, yeah. some people are ordering glasses now, yeah? With yeah. no glass in them, just to be wearing glasses. It's all cosmetic, isn't it? Really? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Would you wear, yeah. Would you wear fake glasses? No. Jeez. Now, will, well, you do, will you take Jeremy's advice if you go to court? Well, if I get pulled over for not having the glasses for driving. <laughs> I wear them. Yeah, I, I was once um, I was once uh, in court and there was a woman who was up on charges of driving without her glasses, yeah? Yeah. She made an absolute spectacle of herself in court. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, Thanks, yeah. Sharon. Here, on you texted in to say Georgie Borges looks like my dad. We're, so we're trying to get her on here. <laughs> Thanks, Sharon. Thanks, Sharon. For those, of you don't, for those of you who don't know what we're talking about, we're talking about a very famous Irish movie called The Snapper. Everyone knows The Snapper. It was, only, it was only on a couple of weeks ago. It was. I can guarantee it was only Sorry, a couple of think, weeks ago. Do you think Peter from Lagos, who's listening to this? Mm, possibly not, but, yeah, but this, yeah, I'm, possibly like, I'm not. explaining to Peter from Lagos that there's a, an Irish movie called uh, The Snapper. There was, and, yeah. And it was about this old lad called Georgie Burgess, who basically got a young one pregnant, called Sharon Burgess. I remember her oh, no, well. her name wasn't Sharon no, Burgess. No, her name was uh, Sharon... What was her name? It was Burgess. No, it was hardly Burgess. What, was it her, her uncle or something? Well, that would have been a bit. Yeah. Uh, Sharon... You never, you never knew her second name because it was always Chardon. No, because her old lad is um. Desi, Desi. Yeah. Are you all right, Chardon? Oh, Curly, Sharon Curly. Yeah, that was her name. Was it really? Yeah, because Desi Curly. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Desi got, got or Georgie Burgess got Sharon pregnant at a young age. And he did, he, and he was an old lad. But there was a very famous scene. Manky old lad. There was a very famous scene where they were lamping each other over the bonnet of a car. Yeah. Does anybody know what hotel that was? Hmm. I've always wondered what hotel it was. Yeah. Remember this very I remember, I, remember. I only watched it a couple of weeks ago. Because yeah. I hadn't seen it for years. Yeah. yeah you remind right, me of Georgie Burgess, actually. Go way out of that, Yeah, you? you do. No, that's like... disgusting. No, no. No, I'm not having that. <laughs> what? Dirty, creepy old fella. No, 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 no. Yeah, if the cap fits. No, it anyway, doesn't fit. Didn't, didn't he lamp her on a bonnet of a car outside? Uh... Outside somewhere. Where was that, yeah? Does anybody know where that hotel was? Uh, if you can, let us know, please. Thanks.
OK, now... Um, Mark Reed. That's what it says on my screen. Hello? Hello? What's, say, what's, your, what's your name? Marguerite. Marguerite. Marguerite, not yeah. Marguerite. No, OK. How are you, Marguerite? I'm good, thanks for yourself. Uh, very well, thank you, Marguerite. Now, um, what did you want to say? I just want to say it's disgraceful. I, I don't approve of people going into the courthouse wearing tracksuits at all. I think it's really, uh, really... Uh, not acceptable like and do you do you agree that the and sorry I wanted to reiterate my point do you agree that they should be denied legal aid if they don't make an effort to look good in uh, in court definitely definitely yeah, well, hang on the law doesn't state you're entitled to legal aid if you're wearing a suit no I'm not talking about everybody obviously if someone's up for murder they deserve legal aid but I'm talking about people who have apps if, if, if somebody's up for murder you'd expect them to be dressed well definitely yeah, no, I'm talking about people that, are, that have no respect for the court. You know those people, Marguerite, who just go in and give the fingers to the judge? And sit there on their phones and stuff. That's really disrespectful. It's bad enough that they're in the place to start with, but leave alone messing like, while they're in there. Now, do you, do, you work in, do you work in the court system? I don't, I don't at all. Like, but I, I've, I've, seen, I've seen it in the papers. I've seen people talking about it. I've, you know, like, it's, it really just is not... Like, if I did work there, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even let them in the door, to be honest. I'd have a dress code, definitely. You can see some people with their hair pinned back right up against their head. That dirty yellow, horrible, laddy dress tracksuits. And really, really, you should be well dressed if you're making your appearance in front of the judge. Like. Yeah, well, I, I agree. Um, but as you could hear from. One girl who appeared in court in her pyjamas and uh, the other fellow who's planning to go to court in his tracksuit. Um, not everybody else agrees. In her pyjamas? Yeah. She was in court in her pyjamas, oh, yeah. Not, oh, sorry, there you go. Yep, were, you not listen, you. were you not listening to the start of the show? Oh, my God, that is... Just yeah, we had this lovely, um, well-spoken young lady on the show called... Well, it's called Stephanie. Stephanie was her name, yeah. Uh, innocent until proven guilty, Adrian. And <laughs> she was basically saying that she was up in court in her pyjamas. That is disgusting, even. Now, if even you... To walk, even to walk to the shop in your pyjamas is horrible. Leave alone, it's something important. Yeah, she was in court in her pyjamas. She spent a night in a cell in her pyjamas as well, I just wanted to point out. I was obviously brought straight um, straight to court. But anyway, you wouldn't ever go to court in uh, in a tracksuit or your pyjamas? Never, never. I definitely, I'd make sure my, ha- my hair was respectable, my clothes were respectable, and I'd speak, I'd speak well as well. Well, having said that now, um, Marguerite, remember, um, what's her name, the Black Widow? What was her name? Remember your woman, Catherine Nevin, yeah? Remember Catherine her? Nevin, yeah. Remember her, the Black Widow. Oh, the, the Black one, Widow, yeah, the one yeah, who yeah. Had the husband. Oh, yeah, she, had yeah, the husband killed. Yeah, yeah slaughtered. He was. I mean, she looked like a million dollars during her court case, and she still got done for it. She did. So it makes no. So she the, should have turned up in a tracksuit. Yeah, she should yeah. have. Yeah. Thanks, Marguerite. Thanks very much. Bye, bye, Marguerite. A lot of people yeah. are texting to say it was the Regency Hotel. Where's the Regency Hotel? On the airport road. You know the one on the on the airport road. We yeah? were talking about where uh, Georgie Burgess lamped Chardon out of us. Yeah. Regency, yeah, maybe it was. Was it? Have you ever lamped someone on the bonnet of a car in the Regency Hotel? <laughs> Funny car? enough, no. You haven't lived. <laughs> really? You haven't done that. You haven't lived. Um, where, where's the Regency the, now? Pull me in the direction. The Regency was, was where we were a couple of months ago. Oh, with years ago, actually. Uh, or, yeah, that time, yeah. Yeah, you know yeah, the time that, I'm talking about, yeah. yeah that's yeah. the Regency. When we had our little uh, rendezvous. Yeah, we had our little rendezvous. Yeah, that was the Regency. Um, How do people know that? How would you actually know that that's where... Ah, some people know. Some we'll, people were around when it was being filmed. We'll try and find that particular clip of uh, Georgie Burgess having sex with uh, Do we have to? Ah, yeah. It's, it's Dirty old fella. Hey, 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 how are you, Sharon? Adrian Burgess. No, that's what... The, isn't that what he sounded like? How are you, Sharon? Yeah, are you You want to come over to my place, Sharon? That was A1. That was A1, Sharon. That's what he said. That's what he said, oh. yeah. He sounded like a dirtbag, actually, that voice. How are you, Sharon? Yeah, it does a bit. A bit curvy. Dirt bag, curvy. yeah. What? What is her address? Yeah. Yeah, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. Send us a photo of your arse. That's yes, what he said. Yes, our sons of bitches. No, send us a photo of your arse. That's what he said. No, he didn't. He did say that. No, he didn't. Um, now, oh, John. Yeah. How are Hi. you, John? How are you, John? How are you? How are you, lad? Good, John. Now, what's up? Oh, that was the old Sheeling car park, by the way. The yeah, old I mean. Sheeling. Well, according, yeah. to, according to everybody else, it's the... The Regency. the Regency. No, I was walking as a barman down the old shield and it was shot down there. The old shielding oh, in, in Rohini? Yeah. Ah, oh, right. And most is, is of, that... Is most of the rest of it was shot in the barrack. That's where it was shot. It was shot down in the, in the 
the old ceiling in Kilbarrick. And is that hotel still there? No, it's knocked down. No, that's long gone, yeah. Um, so that's where it was, the old ceiling in, in Rohini. Yeah. All right, yeah. Good man. Thanks very much, John. Well, no, he wants to talk about something yeah, else. Yeah, I know he does. Yeah, why do you think Jeremy's promoting crime? Definitely promoting crime. Why? How? How can you be asking those knackers, those scumbags, to be going out and getting suits? They'll just go and rob them. Oh, they oh yeah. Them. <laughs> That's very... What they'll be doing is they'll be following a fella home and work one day in the suit. He's the same size as me and robbing his suit off in his house when he goes out to work the next day. <laughs> Jesus, you're Well, dead. yeah, you could be right. And then so, going to spec savers and robbing glasses. The only suit they ever seen in their life was a tracksuit. <laughs> oh god, yeah. Those tracksuits are lovely. Which ones? Yeah. You know the tracksuits you get on on the on the, on the stalls. Now, have you not have you not seen the state them around town? They can't even tie their laces now. Mind a short and toy. You know those Lacoste ones. The coast, yeah, Lacoste, yeah, that's what they're called. <laughs> the crusty, that's what they're called. Um, they, could, they couldn't even tie their laces on now. Mind a short and toy. Imagine them trying to put a knot on a toy. And do you do you agree that they should be denied legal aid if they don't put a short and toy on? I don't because if they were allowed in a short and tight, they'd be just robbing it. Yeah, you're, you're probably, yeah, you're probably right. right. A1, yeah, yeah, John, yeah. A1. Thanks, John. There should be something they should throw over themselves on the way in. And come here, um, when you were... Like one of those raincoats, that's what they should be given on the way in the car. Come here, back to the old ceiling, yeah? Yeah. Um, what did you say? You were working there at the time? Yeah, as a barman, yeah. As a barman. And did they take over the place or did they just film for a day or what? They filmed most of it at night, you know, at night time. Like. Yeah, because it was, it was set at night, obviously, that scene yeah, was, yeah. They filmed most of it after hours, like. Oh, right, yeah. Shot down there, yeah. Oh, very good. Well, well done. Thanks, John. No worries, lads. Good night. Bye-bye, bye-bye. Sorry, I put, I put in a search for Georgie Burgess there and George Slapper came up there. <laughs> what did that happen? I don't know. Look, if you put in George... George look. Oh, George Slapper. Oh, yeah, George okay. Slapper, yeah. How do you spell Burgess? B-U-R-G-E-S-S. Burgess. Yeah. B-U-R. G-E-S-S. Yeah, okay. Let's try and find the scene where the lamping scene. Oh, we have it here, yeah. Okay. No, Do I think we... this is the bit where she's up the pole. That's not very respectful. No, that's what she way. was in the snapper. She was up the pole. Okay, go on. Would you go to the next call? Uh, I'm going to Sarah. Hey, how's it going? Hey, yeah. How are you, Sarah? Good, good. Now, have you ever been up in court, Sarah? Yeah. Well, really, what type of court? Uh, family law. Oh, yeah, we can't talk about that. Yeah, no, we, we, no. we can't talk about no, family law. I don't think you should, but one, don't wear glasses because you get bad luck. Really? Yes, that's a fact. If you wear glasses to if you wear glasses to court, you get bad luck. Yeah, fact. Are you wearing glasses? Fact. Are you wearing glasses? That no, day? no, I don't wear glasses. But you could have. Why would I? I Seriously, why would I? Honestly, you look more intelligent. You get bad luck. One you of those fake pairs of glasses. Yeah. Um, go on anyway. I don't think you should dress up either. So what's the point? You're gonna get slapped with it anyways. Whatever he's gonna give you. Because you have respect, don't you? Like, personally, the next time I go into court, I'm not going to dress up. You, you see, I, I don't get that. I have to be honest, uh, Sarah. I I couldn't go to court without being dressed up. Maybe it's just me now. But the other, like, in my case, the other party wouldn't dress up and everything would work in his favour. I'd be dressed up and respectable and the whole lot and everything would go in the opposite direction. Yeah. And it wouldn't be the circumstances either. No, but do you not think that the, whatever, whatever chance you have of... Um whatever chance you have of getting uh, the court case in your favour no, because well no like in the, in the likes of maintenance and cases like that mm-hmm. you go in look like a, like a ganger and you'll, you'll probably get more maintenance yeah that's because you look because you look like you've, you've, got, you've got no money if you go in there it's all to the nines are looking respectable you look like you have money so well, what would you wear what would you wear what, I, what did yeah, I wear well no what would you wear if you were in court tomorrow say you were in court tomorrow for speeding Um. I don't know, pair of, well, right now I'd wear a pair of skinny jeans and a top. No, skinny jeans, you're not going to a nightclub. You don't wear jeans, you don't wear jeans to a nightclub. And lots of women wear... Uh, skinny jeans, skinny you jeans are a nightclub jeans. thing, yeah. Yeah, you know what, no, I have a problem, I have a problem with fat women wearing skinny jeans. They're ladies. Listen, no, don't go there. Girls what? can wear what they want. It doesn't matter what size. No, they're they called skinny they jeans because they're for skinny legs. No, no, I, no. I saw a woman that had three no, trunks for legs and she was wearing skinny jeans. No, that's wrong. No, no, it's not wrong. Uh, this isn't about skinny it's jeans. Same, it's about same, what you wear to court. Let okay, Sarah you're, you're, have her say. What do you want to say, Sarah? Go ahead. I just don't think you should bother dressing up for court when you're going to be slapped up whatever anyways for whatever you've done. No, but do you agree with me that women who have three tongues for legs shouldn't wear skinny jeans? No, you're wrong. No. I'm not wrong. You are wrong. Same with leggings. Keep it about about fat people wearing leggings. No, you're wrong. No, leggings are not for fat with legs. No. Where are we going with this? Sarah, no. I saw... You're only back in your cousin mayhem. Sarah, I saw a woman there yesterday. But you're right, by the way. You're right, I agree no. with you. 
Oh, Who's thanks. Right? No, right. Sarah, I saw a woman the other day and she was wearing uh, she was wearing uh, skinny jeans and she had legs like, like tree trunks, yeah? Right. And the jeans were so tight in her that they were cutting off the circulation at her ankles. You can actually see. <laughs> no, that's... No. Her ankles no, were actually blue, Adrian. No, but I saw a lady yesterday and she was at the bus stop and she was, well, she was running, you know, UCD, she was running for the bus and yeah. what she wore was atrocious. Like, she had spare tyres going around her and she had... I'm pretty sure it was belly top, but she would have been as far as 20 or so. Oh. And what she was wearing was wrong, and they were just normal jeans. No, Sarah, Sarah there's, certain, there's certain things that slim people should wear, and there's certain things that fat people should wear. What are people meant to wear? Like, Not skinny jeans, they're called skinny what? jeans. They're called what? skinny but jeans. Do you have to be skinny to wear them, though? Yeah. Tell me what fat people should wear. Fat people should wear tracksuits. Not, not... Then you give out their people Yeah, you'd be giving out about that as well. Oh, okay, duvets. Fuck <laughs> out with a duvet around you. Oh, you're bad. That's terrible. Yeah, that oh, is bad, bad, yeah. Bad. It's bad. Okay, yeah. sorry, I take it back. A double duvet. Stop, okay. stop. Anyway, thanks, Sarah. She doesn't bother dressing up for court Honestly, either. why do some people not dress appropriately to their body? I don't know. Like, you, you're fat, but I have to hand, I have to hand it to you. <laughs> No, no, I'm not putting up with this anymore. Adrian's You're not just swamming back in here and starting it, throwing insults at me, calling me fat and whatnot. No. Adrian is so fat that if he makes a mistake in his life, he eats five humble pies. <laughs> <laughs> you oh, do, I saw you the other day. I did, I stuffed my face with humble, humble pies. pies. I did. I anyway, did, the did. point is you're fat, okay? That's a fact. I'm not. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm actually not fat. I've a, I've a larger than I would like belly, but I'm not fat. My legs aren't fat. No, but you've my arms aren't fat. You, what I'm saying is, I'm about to compliment you. By the way, it doesn't yeah, sound on, like yeah, a compliment. Okay. Yeah, but it, it doesn't. Compliment. Yeah, <laughs> you're fat. You've, yeah. a, you've a big fat belly. I have a belly. You have yeah. a huge belly. I yeah. don't have a huge belly. I do have a belly. You have yeah. a fairly big belly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, are we going to argue about the yeah, size of your belly? You have a fairly big belly, but you cover it up well. Oh, thanks. That's what so, I'm is saying. Is that a compliment? I'm saying fat people should wear clothes that are appropriate. Ken. How are you? How are you, Ken? How's it going, lads? Good, Ken. How are you, Ken? Are you well? Yeah, I'm hanging in there, mate. Hanging now, Ken, there, you, man. like many, many, many of our listeners, were, were, were up in court as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's hanging, hanging. Tony, get up. Listen, I... Uh, he didn't say... Here, here, Ken. Yeah. Ken. Little dog, yeah. Can I just say something? Yeah, go ahead. Tiny didn't sound very small. Oh, jay he's a small fella, all right. She's all, I got that completely wrong when I heard Ken saying, Tiny, get up there, Tiny. Listen, I thought he was... Uh, no. I was up in court and I was going through town with him, like, yeah? We going in there a town, like? You and Tiny, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, with the dogs. Right? We were going through um, a certain place in town, but this chap passed by me with a poodle. Okay. One man walks a poodle, by the way. I know, seriously. If I, if, I, if, I had a, if I had a poodle, yeah, but, but, I'd let him stay at home and get fat. Yeah. I would. The, the poodle was in season. And my dog was off the lead, like, right? So, obvious, a dog is a dog, like, yeah? So my dog caught him, caught the poodle. And they brought, he, a man brought me to court. Okay. So he, he ruined the breed on the poodle side of it. Yeah. Yeah. So the judge fined me £100, pound, €100, Euros, and £40 pound for contempt of court. Oh. So <laughs> why, 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 why did you hold the court in contempt? Well, because I was speaking my grounds like, yeah. Oh, you gave the the, the gave um, the judge a bit of lacry, did you? Yeah, I wouldn't say lacry, but I'd just speak my point from the dog side of it, because the bitch should have been now. She shouldn't have been now in season, like, yeah. Well, I don't think it's against the law to bring your bitch out if she's in heat, is it? Well, you, well, you think about it. Really? Yeah. Hey, don't you ever bring your bitch out when she's in heat? Yeah, regularly, it's all the, the time. Time. It the is, time. It is, it's great. You have a great time, don't you? Dog, would you? Adrian has a dog. What? Yeah, well, well, that's beside the point. Yeah, but he's he's not a he oh, is not a he's not a female yeah. dog. Yeah. And so anyway, what did what did you wear that day when uh, when you were in court? I was normal. What do you mean normal? Well, I was casual. In the tracksuit. Oh no no, I wasn't in the tracksuit side of it and all that side of it. I was just casual. You were just casual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you still you still you still got done with the judge like when he found me forty pound of contempt of court that the other chap, yeah. Yeah. Of, um, having the dog out in season. It was in the height of the season, right? Yeah. The, the dog was, yeah. Now my dog copped it. It's a male dog, obvious. Yeah. And got the yeah. dog like a little, little bit horny. Well, obvious. You know what I mean? So that was the situation there, like. So the judge fined me um, a hundred pound and forty pound contempt of court. Really? Yeah. So you're you're just trying to defend your dog's horniness, basically. Yeah, actually, yeah, you just pretty much, yeah. Like, yeah. You're just trying to explain, look, he, he, he got an offer. <laughs> yeah, Am I right? Yeah, he, he got an offer. And uh, he, was, he was well up for it. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, so was the bitch. Yeah, she was well up for it, obviously. I mean, when you, when you get an offer like that, Jeremy, when she's up for it and you're up for it, <laughs> you have to go for it. Really? The dog did. Yeah, yeah. And he got into trouble for it. Yeah, yeah, I was brought the court over because the dog was off, boy, the fellow was off the lead. Sweet <sighs> yeah. mother of Jesus. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Thanks, Ken. Thanks, Ken. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. Before we go Can to we the drop next this call? court thing, by the way? No, we're over. I'm over oh, yeah, about okay. 10 minutes ago. Let's, let's move on. Oh, yeah, this is, um, what's is, this? Is Olive there? Olive! Hello, hello, Hang on, you, you? Hang on there, Olive, and we'll come back to you in a sec. Just, just a sec, Olive. Just, just, a, sec, just Olive, a sec, just a sec. Because uh, all of our listeners... All of been, our listeners, yeah. ...have been texting in, wanting no, to hear this famous clip from the snapper. Nobody did. No one oh, did. Oh, loads, hundreds, hundreds. And I have okay. news for you, by the way. Breaking, yeah. breaking news about the snapper. Yeah. Coming up in a mo. Go on, continue. Here is the famous uh, clip from that movie, The Snapper, where Sharon Curley is lying in bed, realising that she's pregnant. Okay. And, and she gets a flashback... Of how she actually got pregnant. Okay, we've continue. all been there. Have you, ever, uh, have you ever woken up pregnant, Agent? No, funny uh, enough, no. It looks like it. What? What? Anyway, here is um, Sharon Curley's flashback. Okay, here we to, go. As to how go. she ended up up the duff. What's that song, by the way? Hang on. Jim Diamond, I should have known better. Yeah, ah, what a song. What a song. Okay. You have to talk people through because it's the radio. Oh, yeah, so there she is. She's fallen out of a nightclub, yeah? Out of a party or whatever. Um, lock drunk. Oh, the Sheeling Hotel, there yeah, we Yeah, the go. Sheeling Hotel. It definitely was the Sheeling. She, she's piddly eyed. She's having a smoke. She's got a bottle of beer in her hand. Stumbling through the car park, she is. Typical Northside girl at the moment. And uh, now she sits on the bonnet of... Um, Ford Cortina. No, a Nissan Micra. It's not a Micra. She's having her beer. And here's and Georgie. Here we go, here we go now. Here's Georgie. Ah, the bell, George. Are you alright, sir? Oh, man. And he's making advances now. He is. She wraps her arms around him. Over yeah, the and over she's the crying, she's crying now, thinking of this. Is that you squeaking? No. Jeez, he didn't last very long. No, 30 seconds. All right, there he's, he's finished his business, yeah? Yeah. Jeez, how is he out of breath? He's in bits, he is. That was A1. So he zips up his Mickey. Yeah. You zip up Good your girl. Mickey. Good girl. And she's lying on the bonnet of the car. Who was that? <laughs> and she says, who was that? Here's the news. That was um, A1. He never said that was A1, Sharon, by the way. He just said that was A1. Yeah, bizarre. Yeah. Who knew? Yeah, there you go. Anyway, somebody is just after uh, tweeting. Okay, yeah. No, I don't know. On the Twitter tweet. machine, yeah. On the Twitter. <laughs> who called it a Twitter machine? Uh, old people. Yeah, they do. It's like saying WWW before yeah. a website. Who says they that? Say yeah. Old people do. Yeah, they do. WWW. Anyway, um, someone just tweeted me that they're remaking, or they're not remaking, there's a sequel coming up with The Snapper. A sequel? Yeah, they're making a sequel of The Snapper. Really? No, I don't. I don't it's on Twitter, so... But then it must be true. It must be true. A sequel to The Snapper? What's it going to be called? I don't know. No, this isn't a joke, by the way. Oh, was it not? No, uh, according to this person... Yeah? Uh, Jennifer, um, did you know, Jeremy, that they're in talks at the moment uh, about making a sequel... Uh, to the snapper well you know what we'll do we'll get you our listeners to text in possible titles for a sequel to the snapper brilliant okay so tell all them. L fellas and tell, L ones tell them what to do tell them what to do uh, text us now 53104 your suggestions I'll for your sequels well. to the snapper the only one we won't accept is the snapper 2 seriously no. I mean there's no imagination involved there none none All right, so snapper 2 will not count but anything else what would you call a uh, follow up to the snapper S- Snapper A doe Part 2 <laughs> No It's nothing like that Okay so that's how you do it 53104 And put your name on it as well So we're looking for Possible t- names For the uh, sequel To the Snapper uh, 53104 oh, is, our, is our text number Together with Priority Moments From 02 yeah, Jude's a brave man He wouldn't say that On the radio would he uh, She took a it's not, Oh right Jude is basically saying All Northside birds Will take the rattle Over a bonnet of a car <laughs> They won't Not I all they, will, they will. Not I asked she What? Said, oh. You asked every woman On the Northside <laughs> Can I rattle you On the bonnet of a car? Um, now where am I going? 
Now, Olive. Hello, how are you? Sorry, all, all of our listeners were asking us to go back to you, so uh, here we are, Olive. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um, Georgina, would it be Georgina? They could make a... Could have been a girl that he had. Oh, the child? Yeah. The child was called Georgina. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh, well, then. Now, why I'm getting on to you tonight... Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm actually thinking that, uh, Adrian, you could sue... Um, oh, gosh... I could what? You could sue Jeremy for every night for for propositioning you every night. For propositioning me well, every night? He does. He does, I know, I know, I know. He does say, bear with me. He yeah, does say that. Say, ladies and gentlemen, bear with me for a moment. He does say that, actually, yeah. bear with me. Really, I don't really say the ladies and gentlemen thing. About no, we say it to Adrian. No, he says that ladies and gentlemen is coming at his ears. No, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, to you as no, well, Adrian. I know, ladies and gentlemen. Bear with me. Bear with Bear me. With you do say, you do say that. What does that mean? What's and another one you say, uh, it's, it's pick on Jeremy Knight. Yeah. Another one you say all the time, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is um, um, oh, seemingly. You always say seemingly. Yeah. 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 And you know That's the what other, you say. Um, do, do you know what they, another suit they could wear going to, going to court? What? It's a wonder Jeremy hasn't come up with it. What? He's scruffy. What? His birthday suit. His birthday, that means he's naked. Thanks, Olive. <laughs> Our time together has been special. It bye has bye. been. Thanks, Olive. Bye bye. Bye bye. Hold on a second. Here, Olive, I had a mate actually that was up in court, yeah? Yeah. Um, and you know what he wore for, for the special day? No. In court? A lawsuit. <laughs> <laughs> you he wore a lawsuit. a lawsuit Ladies and gentlemen A lawsuit A lawsuit Seemingly he wore a lawsuit He wore a lawsuit Seemingly uh, Adrian Yes hello yes yes Continue Do not bear with him some night nice. I bear with him yeah Bear with me Jeremy Okay thanks Olive Thanks Olive <laughs> Okay all, all of our time has been great <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye Okay Bye. Bye. Yeah, read out uh, Okay these are possible titles 53104 Possible titles um, for the sequel to The Snapper. Okay, here's one I like. Georgie Burgess strikes again. Well, come here. If 20 years ago he was that out of breath, he's not going to be able for it now. No, no. Jamie in Greenhill says The Slapper. The Slapper? The yeah, slapper. yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Gary says uh, Snapped. Okay. Uh, Barry and Consilla, Sharon does Dallas. No, Is that's it? just silly. Oh. Uh, Georgie Burgess gets the clapper. <laughs> well done, Lenny. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Snapper 2, Snap Harder. Oh, I like that yeah, one, Craig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well Good man, Craig. Craig. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, oh, there's the, they're making a Jewish version of the Snapper. Oh, really? Yeah, the Snipper. <laughs> that lads, lads, seriously. What? Um, the follow-up to the Snapper, says Ken, could be the Nipper. Yeah, because the kid. The kid will be all grown up now. The whole show, the whole film could be ba- based around uh, the new little curly kid. Yeah. Yeah. But sure, he'd be about 20 now. Yeah. That's the point. Okay, yeah, go on, go on. More. Um, uh, snapper 2 could be called The Crapper. No, that's okay. it. Okay, uh, no. Deco says The Whippers Snapper. The Whippers Snapper. Very good. <laughs> well done, Deco. That's yeah, me. The Whippers Snapper. Yeah, yeah, it's, I like it. Whipper Snapper. No, that's what I said. No. Um, Sorry, that's a two word thing. The first word yeah, is. Yeah, I know that. Whippers Snapper. No, the that's first what I word. Said. No, that's a great name for a movie. The first word is Whipper. Say that. Whippers Snapper. No. Yes, there we go. I have it. Oh, ladies and that's gentlemen. That's a great name for a, a movie. And the, gentlemen. the Whippers Snapper. My yes. My head is wrecked. Bang on. Ladies that's... and gentlemen. What else have we got there? Uh, ladies and gentlemen. Um, uh, oh, here's one from Ken and Cabra Georgina, Through the Recession. Now, that doesn't even make sense, Ken. No. Um, Simon and Navin, The Snapper, 21 years later. Okay, yeah, what else have we got? Uh, Andrew and Greystone, Snip Snip. Yeah. That's stupid, Andrew. Um, oh, Nigel, Georgie Snaps. Maybe after all these years he cracks up, I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I um, don't get that. Anyway, thanks very much. You're, you're, you're all brilliant. But, but what's your favourite one, the Whipper Snapper? Yeah, the Whipper Snapper, yeah. Yeah, I think that's good, yeah. Why, but that doesn't because make the sense. film will be based around the little kid, yeah? Who's now all grown up. Yeah? Yeah. And you call it the whippers napper. Oh, here's a good one from a friend of mine who just texted me, Lydia. Yeah? Yeah. And uh, I think this one, this one was better than a year of the whippers napper. Yeah, go on. Yeah, yeah. Return of the snapper slapper. <laughs> well done, Lydia. Well done, Lydia. Do you like that one, Return uh, of the Snapper? You're brilliant, Lydia. Return of the snapper slapper. Snapper slapper, yeah. Actually, will I tell you about Lydia? Yeah, go on. By the way, Lydia's a friend of mine. I'd love to get her on the show, actually, um, because she got something done last week. That seemingly women are getting done all the time now. 
the bell, the bell Lydia, yeah? Right, go on, what'd she get done? She got uh, permanent makeup done. What? Permanent makeup. What's permanent makeup? What, it doesn't wash off? Yeah. Never washes off. And what do you. It has to wash off at some stage. No, it doesn't. It's, it's permanent. What? It's permanent. It's permanent makeup. Yeah, women are seemingly. Seemingly. Seemingly, see, you said it, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. seemingly. Ladies and gentlemen, women are seemingly. I kid you not. Bear with me for a I moment. Ki- I kid you not, by the way. <laughs> I kid you not. Yeah. Seemingly, ladies and gentlemen, women yeah. are um, now so lazy that they don't want to even take up their makeup, their makeup at the end of the night and they're getting permanent makeup. My mate Lydia got it done a couple of weeks ago. She now has uh, permanent eyelashes. She has permanent. What's that stuff there called? What's that? Eyeshadow. She has permanent eyeshadow on her face, permanent eyelashes. What do you mean permanent? It doesn't come off. Permanent lipstick. The whole lot. Now, I know some lipstick doesn't rub off that well, but there's no such thing as permanent lipstick. Yeah, there is. Don't be well, so ridiculous. My mate Lydia has it. Your late mate Lydia is a dope. She's telling you this. There's no such thing as permanent lipstick. Ask her Michelle out there. She's a woman. Permanent lipstick? Yeah. All she said was, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you can get permanent stuff. No, I don't, I don't believe this for a second. I swear to God, you can. Who would want to get permanent lipstick? My mate Lydia. She just said, she just had to text me back so I got fed, fed up with taking it off every night and putting it on the next morning. Really? Yeah. Permanent. Ma- now, I know we talked on the show the other night about women who never take their makeup off or have never let their fella see them with makeup did on. Did we talk about that? Uh, what I did, yeah. You were um, talking about that all the time. Yeah, but I was talking about it again the you other night. You were always talking about yeah, that. You were talking about it again now. I kid you not. Yeah, no, no ladies we're, and gentlemen. We're, um, we're talking about, I swear to God, it's permanent makeup. So they actually get their, their eyelashes or their eyebrows tattooed onto them. That's ridiculous. I, if there's any girl, do you not believe this, this happens? No, not at all. Yeah, you get your eyebrows tattooed onto your face. Which means... Who would do that? Lydia. I'm going to text Lydia and see if she'll go on. Yeah, she, t- she, let me talk to Lydia. Well, she's not, if you're going to take the piss out of her, she won't go on. Lydia. I want to talk to you. Well, I'm sure there's other women that get it done. Anyway, you basically get your eyebrows tattooed on. Right. You get the lipstick tattooed onto your lips. (laughs) And, um, honest to God, and you get Who would do that? And you get this thing. What's that thing called that goes there? What's that called? Eyeshadow we've just discussed, yeah. Yeah, you get eyeshadow. I kid you not. Ladies and gentlemen, is there anybody out there who has ever got, other than Lydia, the mysterious Lydia... I know, she's not mysterious. And I have to be honest with you because I know she's listening. This one was a lazy wagon at the best of times. <laughs> if, if, if any woman was ever going to get permanent makeup, it was going to be our Lydia. Because she always used to moan about how long would it take her to put makeup on for a night out. But now she's ready. How long does your missus take to get ready for a oh, night out? An hour and a half. You'd never know. What? Did you say that out loud? No. <laughs> she listening tonight? Yeah. At the one bloody night? Why didn't yeah. you tell me? Anyway, how long does your missus take to get ready for a night out? A fair while You never know Anyway A fair while I said You'd never have guessed Anyway um, If you got her If you For her birthday next year Yeah Yeah um, If you got her this permanent makeup Your life would be so much easier Are you ready for a night out honey? Yeah I'm ready already What do you mean you're ready already? I'm ready My makeup's done All you have to do is change Oh that sounds quite appealing actually Change the old crusty bra once a day Change the old knickers And that's all women need to do now Anya Hello. Hello, Anya. How are you? I'm good. Thank you very much, guys. How now, you? you're Polish, is that right? I am indeed. With yes. a lovely name like Anya, of course she is. Now, Anya, you have permanent makeup, do you? I do, yes. Now, what's the story with it? What have you got done? I never heard of this I... before. <laughs> I have my eyebrows done, I have my lips done, and I have eye liner done. So there's no such a thing like eyeshadow, permanent eyeshadow. Oh, there's no eyeshadow. No. So no. you have your eyebrows, and um, what, are they tattooed on almost? Yeah, but it is like tattoo, but they they don't go as deep as they go with tattoos. Right. They use totally different inks for that. They use totally they different do. ink, right. Now, yeah. what happens if do your... Um, hey, hey, you so know your real eyebrows? Yeah. What happens with them? Oh, they're still there. They're more defined right now. They have a nice shape at the moment. Do you know what I mean? So you, you, well, you can obviously do it when you don't have eyebrows. Like, I do have a scar on my eyebrow, so I basically kind of have half of the eyebrow. That's why, that was the main reason why I got it done. 
but it doesn't look fake at all. You know, if you uh, get it down in a nice place, they, they make it look really, really nice. And but, you, but you're stuck with the same eyebrows for the rest of your life now, aren't you, pretty much? Well, yeah, yeah. you too, right? <laughs> Do your eyebrows change? Oh, they don't, actually. Yeah, your eyebrows exactly. never change. No, possibly not, no. And, um... No, here's the what thing. About, no, but what about your lips? Well, you can give them... It, it doesn't look like lipstick, though. It, it kind of looks like your own lips. They, 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 they make, a, like, a little contour around your lips, right? I know, yeah. I know. And they fill it out with, with kind of nice light pink or peachy colour. So it doesn't look like you have a lipstick on. It actually looks like you have your own lip colour. Looks like you have your own lip colour, yeah. Yeah, it's just more defined. It's it's it doesn't look well. If you get it done nicely, it doesn't look fake at all. It doesn't really look like you can't you, like you have a makeup on. Really? It, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Believe me. <laughs> it just it just gives it's just nice shape and a little bit brighter colour than your own lips or your own eyebrows. You see, okay, so if I looked at you, I wouldn't think you look like a bit of a freak or anything, would I? Absolutely not. See, Polish oh, women no, Polish women know how to look after themselves, don't they, Anya? I think we do. Yeah, you'll never see a Polish woman in a tracksuit. Well. Well, I do wear a tracksuit. Yeah, if you're, if, you're, if you're running or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, but but you, well, wouldn't, wouldn't it be fair to say that Polish women really care about their looks and how they look and all that? Absolutely. I've never seen a, a fat Polish woman. I have. <laughs> wow, no, oh, I've, seen, I've seen one. Yeah, I've seen one. I remember. What was her name? Rolski. <laughs> Rolski. <laughs> What was her name? Okay. Yeah. That was a stupid joke. Um, no, it wasn't a joke. It, um, right. And can you get even more done? Like, can you get your lips done even more if you wanted to? What do you mean? Like, uh, colour-wise? Or just make them bigger? Or, or, or what, what? Yeah, colour-wise, yeah. Yeah, you can, if you want, you can go mad and get them done red. Really dark red or whatever. Absolutely. Well, I, I've seen, don't get me wrong, I've seen some wrong... Uh, per- permanent makeups. I've seen like dark disastrous having, ones. Yeah, like I've seen girls having like only contour done in dark brown. Do you know what I mean? Really dark I've brown seen, lips. Absolutely. Now, now some people listening are probably saying that you're you're very you're a vain woman and all that. Uh, what would you well, say? To I you? am vain. Oh, you are vain. Oh, you admit that? Yeah. Well, I don't think there's anything wrong with being vain. <laughs> are you, Are you good looking? I, I'm, I'm not bad looking. <laughs> well, if you're vain, you obviously think you're good looking, yeah. No, I just, I just think, you know, everything's for people. Everything's That's for mad, people. that is. Why, why not? If you, if you can look better that you look, why not? Now, what would you, you say know? to some people who are saying you're just a lazy bitch who doesn't want to put on makeup every morning? Mm, well, n- no, I wouldn't say. That, was, that wasn't the reason why I got it done. Definitely not. So you're you're not lazy. But I still I still no I don't think I'm lazy. No, no Polish people are lazy. They do the best jobs in Ireland they do. Don't they? Yeah. Well. <laughs> yeah. They're very hard workers. Thank you. And uh, do you ever think like when you get a bit older that you might go, "Oh jeez, I shouldn't have got that done." No, you think I it doesn't stay forever. It, it's 5 years. It just wears off. Oh, it's right. Like, it's like tattoo. Well, tattoos cuz Well, tattoos, tattoos don't really wear off. Yeah, well, they stay longer cuz it's a different ink and it, they go really deep in your skin. With that, they can't do it. So it, it, it basically you have to repeat it every few years. All oh, right. Now, hang on there for one second. Kira. Yes. How are you, Kira? Grant. Now, it says on my screen here that you you don't wear makeup, do you not? No. Now, w- would you do you ever wear makeup? Never. Never. No. Why, Why? not? looking it's horrible looking yes and would you would you never think of getting permanent makeup tattooed well, on if you she, if she won't wear non-permanent Adrian what's the chance of her wearing permanent I yeah never possibly make, never wear makeup at all you <laughs> never wear not even a bit of lippy no it's horrible it's horrible yeah I don't use I know you're, you're hearing that girl on you who has her, her makeup tattooed on her face do you think that's pathetic yes oh really Yes. Like freaky. Yes. There you go. Kira's calling Anya the freak there, Adrian. Yeah. <laughs> Who knew? Well, there you are, Anya. She says it's a bit freaky to be getting permanent makeup. Oh, that's okay. You know, everyone has their own opinions, so I, I, I wouldn't, you know, argue with it. 
I know, but Kira. I would like to be such a natural beauty that I wouldn't have to have a makeup at all. And Kira, Kira, I know the answer to this before I even ask you, Kira. But are you a natural beauty? Yes. Yeah. Oh, very. Oh, you. You see, some women. I knew that before. Even some women only last week or the week before, whatever. uh, We put up a photograph of Holly Willoughby. Yeah, yeah, on yeah. our on our website, yeah. Without any makeup. Without any makeup, and she was gorgeous. Yeah, but regardless, she still looks better with the slap on. I don't think yeah, so. She does. Well, she was a cracker, though. Yeah. I get a lot of chatting up with lads. You get a lot of chatting up by lads. Yeah. Really? Without any makeup on. Yes, that's true. Without I'm even with somebody. With, you what? And I'm with somebody. And does he not want you to put makeup on at all? No. He rather me without makeup. And would you ever wear the fake tan? No. Jesus. There you go. You need you need a bit of fake tan on you, don't you, Anya? No. Oh, you don't? You don't wear no. fake tan, Anya, no? I don't wear fake tan. No, I think it's awful. Oh. It's like orange. And it stains, and it's just not attractive. No, I wouldn't. Yeah, and it, sm- it smells like soggy cornflakes as well. It does. i rather, you know, go to do sandbags. Well, I don't, I don't do. I do them probably once or twice a year. Yeah. Uh, like before going on holidays. Um, but no, no, I'm not into fake tan at all. Okay, thanks, Anya. Thank you very much, guys. And okay. Kira, Kira, fair play to you having the, having the guts to go out without any makeup on. I couldn't do it. <laughs> well, I can't. Why, uh, why can't you? I have to put it Well, now you are bet down. I'd say that Don't for you. Don't say that to Kira. No, you? I'm saying about you. Oh, about me. Yeah, yeah. And do you, do you think you'll ever wear uh, makeup? No. Never? No. Yeah, well, there you go, Jeremy. I'm there- Jeremy. Who? Jeremy, stop slagging Adrian. Oh, why? Well, I'm hearing you call names. I just said he was fat, that's all. He's not fat. Yeah, oh. don't be so ridiculous, Jeremy. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know Ta- I call you? I call you Bubbles. Yeah, Bubbles. Why would she call me Bubbles? Ah, uh, it goes back to an old show. Really? Yeah, Bubbles. an old show. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thanks, Bubbles. Thanks, Kira. No problem. Bye, 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 bye. Why was I called Bubbles? Do you not remember that old show? No. Yeah, there was an old show uh, back in the day, yeah? Yeah. It was something to do with farting in a jacuzzi or... Some do bubbles in a jacuzzi. Oh, I do remember, yeah. No, you've got the wrong man there. Bubbles in a jacuzzi and other men in the jacuzzi with you. And the bubbles did something to you. I remember it. I remember it very well. What? Yeah. yeah, yeah, I remember it. Bubbles. Bubbles? Yeah, that's what we called you. Bubbles. Actually, speaking of jacuzzis, is, is uh, Kira there or is Claire there, is she? Claire, how are you? Hiya. Hang on, Claire, I'll come to you in a sec. I have to tell a story. Hi. Listen to this. Anyway, yeah, um, the other day. Yeah, the other day, I, yeah. I was away on holidays and I was uh, in a jacuzzi. Oh, oh, yeah, well, very good, yeah. I was in a jacuzzi with herself, um, just relaxing. That's what you do in a jacuzzi. And um, these two very large women got into the jacuzzi as well. Yeah. Two huge big women got into the jacuzzi, and um, we got talking. And I realised their accent, they weren't, they weren't from Ireland. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I said, ladies, now these were big, big ladies, Adrian. Big, even, even you wouldn't. <laughs> and that's saying something. Go on, there were large these, ladies, yeah. These were... Um, large ladies. Very large ladies in the jacuzzi. And I was listening to their accent. They were talking, yeah. Right. And they were going, are you, are you going out for a night tonight? Are you going to have a good night tonight? And stuff like that, yeah. And I said to them, Scottish? Yeah. And they said, no, you Egypt, Wales. I said, oh, you didn't look that fat to me. <laughs> Do you like that joke, Claire? <laughs> I did indeed. <laughs> well, it, wasn't bad, yeah, it wasn't bad. Have you permanent makeup, Claire? I don't, but my flatmate actually has her she, eyebrows she, done. Is she a vain bitch? She's not. But is I Adrian, Adrian the same women that get it done or vain bitches? No, I didn't say they were... V- okay, maybe I did. Um, <laughs> no, so what has she got done? She just has her eyebrows done, but they're just kind of filled in, so her eyebrows just look a little bit thicker and it saves her that bit of time in the morning. But to be honest, like... Had she not pointed it out to me, I wouldn't have realised she had it done at all. So then what's the point? Because it's something that she would have done with makeup in the morning anyway, so I would have thought it was pencil. It's just really naturally done. Right. And so where, 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 do you get, where do you get this done, by the way, young lady? Um, she got it done in Turkey. Ooh. Yeah, I a know. bit dodge, yeah? <laughs> really? That sound a bit dodge. It does indeed, but she seems okay. <laughs> That's very, very dodge. And um, it, it's so she, she she has a permanent expression on her face. Well, it's just her natural eyebrows that are filled in a bit more. Well, I am going to give this a shot. I have to ask you one more <laughs> question. Give it a try. I have to ask you one more question, yeah? Uh huh. Because I know some women that, that fall into this bracket. Do you ever go to, or do you regularly go to, ma- to bed with your full face and makeup on? No, never. What do you think of women who do that? It's so bad for your skin. 
It is bad for your skin. I know a lot of women. Yeah, that's just pure laziness, isn't it? Yeah. If you come in, if you come in a bit under the weather, it's the last thing you want to be doing. You just want to hit the pillow. Well, that's me know, anyway. It's just so bad for your skin, and then you wake up with your eyeliner all down your face. Terrible. <laughs> what was it? Yeah. It's, it's bad news. It is indeed. But it, I have to say, sometimes it's. I remember back in my back in the day when I back when I was a, I was a single and I was a player, Claire. Yeah. He was a playboy. Yeah. A playboy. Yeah. <laughs> Playboy um, of Western Dublin. Um, you'd, you'd go to bed uh, with women with lovely makeup on, yeah? Uh-huh. Uh, and you, you'd end up going to bed with women that look like Cheryl Cole, yeah? Mm. And you wake up the next morning, they look like Ashley Cole. <laughs> <laughs> they, they would have. <laughs> they look completely... <laughs> their face would be all over the pillow and stuff. Well, I never woke up with anybody that looked like Ashley Cole. Right? Uh, yeah, so, yeah, I hope not. Although yeah. he's a good-looking man. He is, yeah, he's a good-looking bloke, yeah. Um, but, but is it down to laziness that women won't take their makeup off? Claire. No, oh, Claire's just miraculously disappeared. She's still there. You there, Claire? Oh, Jesus, was my joke that bad? It obviously was, yeah. So what do you think, Agent, of women who go to bed uh, with their full face and makeup on? I mean, it's not much. How long does it take to take makeup off? It takes a couple of minutes, but if you come home a bit drunk, say. Yeah. The last thing you want to be doing is doing all your makeup and all. It's bad enough having to do your teeth. Yeah, but you just get a... Well, all you have to do is put them in a jar. Yeah, your this is great. The, the it's very handy. Yeah, yeah. Um, it doesn't bother me. Oh, here, tech, just ring her quickly before we, we finish up. Because I was under the impression that every woman loved that subject. Just bear with us for one moment. Or just. Uh, by the way, uh, according to Adrian Kennedy, if you're a woman who uh, goes to bed with your makeup on and doesn't take it off, you're a lazy sow. That's what he Well, said. I didn't use the word sow. Well, what do you say? It was say? cow. Cow. Sorry, yeah. cow. Different animal. <laughs> Um, okay, now, okay, oh, uh, 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 uh. now, why, you thought everybody loved this subject? Yeah. Or every woman loved this I, subject? Every, women love the makeup, don't they? Is the makeup a woman's uh, favourite subject? I don't know. Well, obviously, this person doesn't want to talk about it. Oh. Shell! Hello. Why is this boring you? Do you wear makeup? No, all the time. If there's a special occasion, yes, I put a bit on. I thought, now, I'm obviously wrong, Shell, but I thought that women were fascinated with makeup. You go into, have you ever been into Brown Thomas? No. You go into Brown Thomas on a Saturday afternoon, you know all the makeup stands? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Makeup stand and after makeup stand, you've, what have you got? You've Makeup stand after makeup stand, yeah. Estelle Lord or whatever her name yeah, is. Yeah, her, yeah. And you've um, Smash Face. Isn't that the yeah, get on with it. All these makeup. Who knows all this? I do, I spend a lot of time <laughs> around the makeup stands of Brown Thomas. Um, and that other one, what's that other one? Kristen... Christian Door or whatever. Yeah, that one, yeah. Christy Door. Yeah. And it's packed with women just getting like excited about makeup. Do you not get excited with makeup? No, like I mean when I go out I literally put on lip gloss, a little bit of blush and eyeliner. But you know when it attract the men? I don't need men in my life. Men want the women with the slap on the face. I couldn't give a shape of Oh they do. Oh she doesn't care. Really? Doesn't care. (gasps) Have you completely gone off men? Yeah. You never want another man as long as you live? Uh, the next time I want another man is when he is mature enough to handle me. How good look at that one. <laughs> <laughs> there's none. You're, there's none. You are actually waiting to meet a man who's mature. I'm waiting for a man who actually uh, isn't selfish or is only looking for one thing. Okay, hang on, Adrian. Write down the list of things that you want in a man. Isn't uh, Not selfish, yeah. Yeah, what else? Looking for just one thing. No, looking one thing, yeah. But I assume he's going to get that one thing at some stage. Oh, at some stage when I'm good and ready. Yeah, yeah six, okay, yeah. Six years later. So not selfish, uh, not looking for one thing. Yeah, yeah. what else? Um, is responsible enough to understand that my son comes first, not him. Ooh, she wants to put the son Responsible fella, yeah, okay, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and can just understand me in a way that makes me comfortable. Okay, so not selfish, not looking for one thing, uh, responsible enough to know your kid comes first and uh, just able to understand you. Mm-hmm. Nah, forget it. It's just not not gonna, enjoy single life there, Michelle. Oh, I, I'll yeah. be a single Pringle for a while. And yeah. the, the last man obviously left a sour taste in your mouth, did he? Oh, you've no idea. Oh, right, really? okay. Yeah, yeah, here, here. I don't oh. want to drag it up. Oh, sorry, sorry, Michelle. Thanks, Michelle. No, 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 it's all right. Oh, no, no, sir. No, but did he, leave, uh, did he leave a sour taste in your mouth? I'm not going down that road. Yeah, you see? Okay, okay. See, it's, oh, it's, re- it's red raw. Okay. It's red raw. Thanks, Thanks Michelle. Michelle. Thanks, Bob. Yeah, the next Seriously, question don't drag up stuff like that. I just have to ask a question. Yeah, go on. 
What woman would stay with a man who left a sour taste in her mouth? Yeah, I mean, what, disgusting. What self-respecting woman listening to this show tonight would continue a relationship with a man who left a sour taste yeah, in her mouth? you just wouldn't. A sweet taste. Perhaps, maybe. yeah, but not a sour one. Not sour. Or vile. Or salty. Or yeah. Ah, stop. Yeah, Jeez. no, it's disgusting. Yeah, it is, I agree. Uh, 